Eric is my Hatha Yoga practice that I had before known in this practice counterproductive to the practice that I understand now. Everything was all okay. So everything you've done in your life, first you didn't do it, it just happened when you were due to do it, you were due to study. So whatever you've done, you must acknowledge it, you must welcome it. It was needed, otherwise it would not have happened. But life is moment to moment. When the past is finished, it's gone. Of course you carry it in a certain way. But you must carry it with, with uh, poetry, not with, uh, with heaviness. So everything you encounter in your life was, uh, <coughs> was important for you. All the play you, when you were three years old, all the toy you used were important for you. When you were 10 years old, your football team was important for you. I mean, you needed it. All the women or the men you slept with were important for you. It was you, it was you to happen. Don't discard anything of your life. Whatever we done, you must welcome it, acknowledge it, surrender to it. There's no mistake in life. And nothing is superior to other. Kashmir tradition is not superior to other tradition. Uh, for a child of 10 years old, uh, James Bond movie is, a, is the ultimate. He doesn't want to read Upanishad. He doesn't want to read Mr. Eckhart or Narabi. For, for him, it would be a, a waste of time. He needs to mature watching James Bond or playing football or whatever. So, everything you learn in your life it was needed. It was a, the beauty of consciousness to make you go through all the sin. But life is now. So don't. Uh, and what you do now may not last. Maybe in a few months you're going to discover uh, the Taoist teaching going to touch you so much. And you, and you said, I follow the Kashmir teaching, but it's a mistake. No. Because maybe to understand the Taoist teaching, you needed to. Sometimes to study Kashmir tradition, and then you come to a moment in life where you will not feel the need to acknowledge any tradition. Why being something? Why being Buddhist? Why being Hindu? Why being Taoist? Why? Why finding this Sunday? Is I being French or being this or being that? You may have a French passport, that doesn't mean your French passport is French. We're not our passport. You're not your car. But some people think they are their car. <laughs> you're not your passport, you're not your car. You're not the color of your skin. What you are is insinkable. In so, forget what you've done, forget what you do. It's not important. Just give yourself totally to what is evident for you. If something touch you, follow it. A woman touch you, follow it. A man touch you, follow it. A dog touch you, follow it. Don't think it is better than that. Follow the heart. Follow what is evident. Nothing will ever give you what you look for. But what you look for is behind you. And when you look, you look away. You look in the wrong direction. You look in front of you, but you're looking for in the back of you. At one moment, by deep intuition, you must realize that. What you're looking for is in back of you, and wherever you go, you go in front of you, even you, you go far from you. you. You're leaving yourself moment to moment. When I try to find myself, actually I'm going away of myself. When I see in all intensity that Trying to find myself is going away of myself. This thing of going away is coming back to what I am. That's why it's called a negative path. To see when I'm going away is coming back. But when I think by doing this, by following that, I'm going to find myself, it's like a religious, it's like following a religious teaching. 
dos atos, dos atos, dos atos, partidos atos, de vai nota, a gente não pode lá da cuba estivite, de something. Só que eu vou lhe dizer que o espiritual teaching, o tradicional teaching, o religious teaching, what you want, the only thing you want is yourself, is not a teaching. As the origin, maybe teaching was supposed to help you to go back to yourself, but actually it went, it went wrong. And now people follow a teaching actually to forget themselves. The teaching takes them away from themselves. They become Buddhist. I'm a proud Buddhist. Uh, I do meditation. I'm a Taoist. Like my friend uh, Mark Dikowski, I'm a Shaiva. I am this, I am that. I am Zor. I am James Bond. It's the same thing. It's the fantasy. What for? So don't follow a teaching. Follow what touch you. Don't make it concrete. Uh, there's nothing worse than somebody thinking he's following a path. Follow no path. And if it is not clear, you read the chapter 2 of the Tantra Loka, Rinana Gupta, Anupaya, the path of no path. This chapter is a line of the of life. Don't read chapter 3, don't read chapter 4, don't read 5, because Shaktipaya, Shivapaya, Anupaya is different, it is religious. But chapter 2, the path of no path. So it's only one to follow. And in this path there is no there's nothing to follow. That's the only path to follow. To see when the fantasy of security, that out what brings that, and how that, and it's so nice, but I find it's so deep, no, no. What is deep is what you are when you stop thinking of yourself. No path is deep, no teaching is deep. What is deep is yourself when you stop pretending to be. But don't get it wrong. Don't think the teaching will ever be deep. What is deep is your silence. Maybe a teaching can sort of help you to, to look in that direction. But the depth is not in the teaching. The depth is in, in your silence. So teaching must remain very light. Don't follow guru, don't follow teaching. Uh, it, is a, it is imagination. It's just a, like singing in French. And, and way to be something. Life is <coughs> beyond boundaries. Why limit oneself? Why should I be something? Like people who think I'm a man, I'm a woman. Why to limit myself? Why should I be a man or a woman or a dog? Or... I'm open. In this openness, everything is possible. Maybe sometimes I'm a man, maybe sometimes I'm a woman, maybe sometimes I'm like a dog, maybe sometimes I'm like a fish. When you make love, sometimes you make love as a bear, sometimes you make love as a fish, sometimes you make love as a snake, sometimes you make love as a woman, sometimes you do it as a man. Uh, sometimes it is very hard, sometimes it is very soft, sometimes it is... Uh, I don't need to define myself. The situation gives you the abilities. It is without limit. So all the possibility of our brain is at our disposition. So to limit oneself to be something is a kind of... I mean, it's a, it's a terrible life. To think I'm French, to think I'm a man, to think I'm, I'm this and that, that's my wife, that's my dog, that's my car. I mean, life is hell. The only fear. So, for me, the teaching for me is the same thing. A, I mean, you must respect it, but it's a weakness. You're not weak. You don't need the teaching. You need to see that 
every thoughts take you away a few steps. And you feel that in the intimate moment, then you realize that every thought actually is a celebration of yourself. Then the speech, then the thought becomes a celebration, like when Mr. Eckhart speaks, speech celebrates silence. When in Arabic speak, he speak celebrates silence. But as long as we haven't seen that very clearly, thinking, speaking is always going away. When we try to concretize something, it cannot be concretized. So don't compare things. What you done was perfect for you. What touched you now is perfect for you. But don't get, don't, uh, don't appropriate it yourself. Just, it must be light. It's like a relationship. Relationship must be light. Don't, uh, don't make it heavy. There's no need. Love is light. You must live in lightness. Don't make it heavy. No. Life is very light. As long as we don't sink it. As long as we don't want security. Then everything is hell. Everything comes like, like a war. Then the relationship is like war. The business is like war. The health is like war. The financial thing is like war. Everything is war. I don't need to go to Ukraine to see war. I see it in myself. The moment I want something. I want something for my parents, I want something for my wife, I want something for my lover, I want something for my dog, I want something for my child, I want something for my... I want something for everybody. I want, I want, I want, I want. Of course, life is difficult. There's nothing to want. Welcome what come to you, according to your abilities, you do what you can. Your wife is where she is, your lover is the way he is, your Children are the way they are, your parents are the way they are, the government is what it is, opposition is what it is, neighbor is what it is. Don't ask, don't expect. You do what you can, you ask nothing, you expect nothing. Do the best you can, according to your own abilities, life is easy. Never ever expect anything from anything, from anybody, particularly yourself. Like the drug men every night, you know, that's the last time I drink. Up to the next day. So don't expect anything from you. You will not hold your words. Don't expect anything from your wife, she will not hold her words. Nothing from your child, nothing from your boss, nothing from your slave, nothing from your dog. Expect nothing, give everything. And life is easy. But following a teaching, for me, the in a tradition uh, moment. There is teaching, but the teaching is that there is no teaching. You know, to be followed is to be understood in silence. But whatever you've done was needed. That's why it happened. So you must welcome your life, you welcome your past. When you welcome your past, your past disappears. And it is needed. No past. 